Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. And today, as I'm sure you already read, <laughs> we are going to be doing a little unboxing and tutorial on November's BoxyCharm. Yes, I know, this is just a little delayed. Just like my October BoxyCharm. Not even sure if I'll actually get that up for you guys, but just cause I know a lot of you guys have it and sometimes these boxes just kind of sit there. Let's be honest, they come pretty fast. <laughs> I wanted to create more of like a simple tutorial for you guys using this boxy charm. It just came up off more simple to me and I really, really, really wanted to use this brand new lipstick from Huda Beauty. This is the NYE or New Year's Eve lipstick. Can we just take a look at it? It is stunning. It is so, so, so pretty. The glitter is just amazing so i wanted to use the ace beauty palette that came in my boxy charm for this month to kind of recreate a simple look or you can even go ahead and create more of a red type of a look to complement this lipstick so without further ado i'm going to share share with you guys swatches of this palette and everything else that i got in my boxy charm for the month of november so in my boxy charm, as I showed you guys, I got the Ace Beauty Grandos palette. It has four matte shades, four shimmer shades. Here are the swatches of all of these shades on my arm. Also in this month's box is the Bodyography Pro Makeup Brush Cleaner. It worked pretty, pretty well, I have to say. Definitely this little size will probably be thrown into my kit or my travel case so that I can use it when necessary. The next piece in this kit, which is probably one of my favorites, are these four brushes from Luxie. They're super, super pretty. They are all gold and they are their super small brushes. The only brush in this kit that I don't really like is this guy. I don't see a purpose for it. Eh, I like these three much better, but overall, super cute, and this is basically, I mean, guys, I tell you all the time, BoxyCharm really is worth it. I mean, you're paying, like, what, 10, 20 bucks to get a 50, 80, $100 worth of product. I think that's worth it. Next piece that came in this month's BoxyCharm is the Farrah Brushes um, Double Tweezer. The last and final product part of November's Boxy Charm are the Cover FX Glitter Drops in the color. What color are you? Nova. So, Nova is kind of like a very, very yellow gold, more leaning towards kind of like a white gold with rainbow iridescence in it. Super pretty. I think with this product, you definitely have to be a little careful with how you apply it because it can almost like submerge itself in foundation but when it is swatched it is super 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 pretty and i think it would work super well on top of foundation so I have a little bit on my finger and if you kind of just lightly tap it on you can get it to stay in the place that you want to. So I definitely suggest putting these glitter drops over a powder and not on top of a cream or mixed in with a cream because then the glitter kind of disappears underneath. All right, so that is it for what I got in my November boxy charm. Let me know in the comments below what you got in your November boxy charm. Let me know what's different, what did you really like, what didn't you really like this month. And without further do let's get into this full tutorial for this November box all right so we're starting off with the ace beauty palette I'm just gonna take the peachy matte color and I'm gonna blend that into my crease and I was gonna put false lashes on it guys I think for this look but it didn't but now we're gonna blend in the orange color into the crease make it nice and warm not really sure what look I was going for in the very beginning but we made it work just another look for you for you guys to be like inspired by um, I'm taking the darker orange shade and I'm just going to use the small Luxie brush to blend that near my lashes and in the crease and then I took a fluffier brush just to blend it all out I'm using a lot of this shimmery white color at the end of the palette on the left in the inner corners and also on the brow bone and then I added a little bit of the cover effects glitter to it 
You guys can literally hear Athena walking on the floor. <laughs> In every voiceover, I'm taking a darker brown shadow from the Doll 10 palette and I'm just adding that to the lash line and a tiny bit to the outer corner and crease. These were the lashes I was going to put on, but I decided against putting lashes on. Why? I don't know. I just felt like it looked kind of cute without them. I'm taking that brown and just blending a little bit on the outer corners and into the crease and then I took the tweezer from Fire Beauty and I just tweezed my brows just a little bit you know don't want no unibrow for primers I'm using the Too Faced Hangover primer and then a little bit of the Hourglass primer just to fill in any pores and start with a smooth surface. And then for foundation, I'm using my it Cosmetics Matte CC Cream. By the way, if you see me looking off to the side, I was watching a TV show. You guys, this is why I don't watch TV shows. They become an obsession and it's really bad. So I finished that entire season, actually like two seasons, and I won't be watching anymore, anymore. I think I was watching, what's the show called? The Good Doctor, that's what I was watching. And I watched the entire like season or two in like two days. <laughs> I added some concealer and then I'm jumping back over to the Cover FX Glitter Drops, adding a little bit on the tops of my cheeks. And then I'm setting everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm gonna go back in a bit with the glitter drops. Whenever you kind of mix them with a cream foundation or put them under powder, they lose their glitter. So it's best to use them as kind of like the last thing that you're going to do on top of any powder um, and not mix in with anything. For bronzer, I'm using the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer to bronze up my entire face. And then for blush, I'm gonna be using one of my favorites, which is the NARS Blush in Gina, just to the apples of my cheeks. I'm gonna set everything with the MAC Fix Plus, and then we're gonna add some highlighter. This is the Ofra highlighter, and I'm just adding some of that to all the highlight areas, and I decided to jump over to the lips, and I'm using a lip pencil from Jar Cosmetics. By the way, you can use my code Julia to get money off. And then I am adding the Huda lipstick. Thanks guys so much for watching and tuning in to this very delayed, but it's here, it's here and it's giving you another makeup look. Um, this BoxyCharm unboxing and tutorial. If you guys like these type of videos, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like them, well, I'd appreciate it if you didn't give me a thumbs down, but you can just let me know in the comments below if you want me to change anything about this video. But no negativity here, okay? As always, make sure to subscribe to me right here in the center of my face. And check out all of my other videos on the side. Love you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.